हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड थ्योरी वी आर इन द थर्ड चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी वी हैव जस्ट सीन सो बेस्ड ऑन टू द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी विद दैट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी लेट अस हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट कैलकुलेट डी बार इन रेक्टेंगुलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स एट पॉइंट पी द वैल्यूज आर 2 3 6 produced by part a a point charge qa 55 millicoulomb at capital q minus 2 3 minus 6 part b is a uniform line charge where the line charge density rho lb is given as 20 millicoulomb per meter on x axis and part c is a uniform surface charge density rho sc given by 120 microcoulomb per meter square on the plane z equal to minus 5 now to read the problem statement directly it is given that we have to calculate d bar so d bar is the representation of electric flux density whereas e bar was the representation we used to denote electric field intensity so here d bar has to be calculated now where in rectangular coordinates at the point p so point p has to be the field point see in the electric field the source where it is situated is called as source location and the point where we are going to test the parameters of that particular field that is electric field intensity or right now electric flux density is called as field point so here point p is a field point the location is given as x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 3 and z is equal to 6 there is no angle so it is rectangular coordinate system representation now the d bar we have to calculate but because of which so it is produced by so we have three parts in the first part the charge configuration is of a point charge in the second part the charge configuration is of a line charge and in the third part the charge configuration is because of a sheet of charge or uniform surface charge now in the previous chapter we have derived electric field intensity for all such charge configurations just now we have gone through the relationship of electric flux density with that of the electric field intensity based on to that uh, relationship we shall derive the formula and will solve for the electric flux density at this particular field point because of these sources so let us solve this problem now in the first part we first of all the diagram so in the diagram we will locate the sources so this should be the z axis y axis and x axis perpendicular to each other orthogonal set of axes so this is positive x negative x positive y negative y positive z negative z all intersecting into the origin now in the part a the point charge qa having this magnitude 55 millicoulomb is located at point q that is minus 2 3 minus 6 so i mark minus 2 units on x then 3 units on to y so i have the lines parallel to the x and y axis i find the intersection point so this is minus 2 3 0 so we want minus 2 3 minus 6 so i have to lower it down by 6 units so let us see here so this is the point minus 2 3 minus 6 where the charge is located the point is given by q and the charge qa is said to be 55 millicoulomb means 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb so here is the location of the charge now we are asked to find out d bar we are asked to find out d bar at point p so p is also to be located 2 minus 3 6 so 2 units on to the x axis minus 3 on to the y axis so i have the parallel lines and the intersection here gives me 2 minus 3 0, 2 minus 3 6. I have to go, so I have to lift this point by 6 units. So it will be looking like this. 
so this is my point capital p called as field point having the coordinates 2 minus 3 6 now here it is the source because of the source the surrounding is influenced which is called electric field at this point we are supposed to derive d bar is equal to what now as the given point uh, given source is a point charge we know electric field intensity given by q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square ar cap measured in volts per meter now this q will be qa now if we get electric field intensity how to calculate d bar that is electric flux density so for that purpose we have gone through the relation d bar is equal to epsilon 0 times e bar if the medium is free space or air so the medium is not specified it is in the free space so we consider d bar is equal to d bar will be multiplication of epsilon 0 to the formula of e bar here we get q a upon 4 pi r square a r cap now with the help of this formula we will be really successful to get the value of d bar q a is already given to us that is 55 milli coulomb 4 pi r constant r r is the distance of separation between the field point and the source point so we have the location of p and that of the q a hence we can find this vector r a r cap the unit vector we can put over here so let us proceed with this problem so here we have r a r cap r a r cap given by 4 a x cap minus 6 a y cap plus 12 a z cap so this vector we have obtained by subtracting the coordinates of source point from that of the tail point of the vector hence r will be equal to under root 196 that is equal to 14 and a r cap will be equal to 4 a x minus 6 a y cap plus 12 a z cap divided by 14 hence d bar that is electric flux density is given by i put the values now that is 55 into 10 raised to power minus 3 divided by 4 pi into r square uh, will be 14 square then the unit vector 4 ax cap minus 6 ay cap plus 12 az cap divided by again 14 so 14 here finally i can get d bar is equal to 6.3801 ax cap minus 9.5701 ay cap plus 19.1403 az cap unit of measurement here is <coughs> this is multiplied by 10 to power minus 6 that is why micro coulomb per meter square so this is the required answer for part a so part a we are finished with we have calculated d bar at the point p because of a point charge q a at q okay now let us move on to the part b in the part b we are asked to again calculate d bar because of a uniform line charge given the line charge density on x axis so now we in the diagram on the x axis show the uniform infinite line charge with some different color now this line charge is given the line charge density that line charge density value is 20 milli coulomb per meter so rho l is equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb per meter now we have to find out d bar okay at the point p because of this line charge so again we take the help of relation d bar is equal to epsilon 0 times e bar for the e bar we write the formula for electric field intensity due to uniform infinite line charge so let us proceed electric field intensity is given by rho l upon 
टू पाए एप्सिलॉन जीरो रो ए रो क्या नाउ डी बार इज इक्वल टू एप्सिलॉन जीरो ई बार विल बी रोयल अपॉन टू पाए रो ए रो क्या एंड दिस विल बी मेजर्ड इन कूलम पर मीटर स्क्वेयर सो नाउ वी रिक्वायर रो एंड ए रो क्या रो इज द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट पी from the line charge so we are supposed to have a perpendicular segment onto this it will be directed outwards so it will be rho a rho cap so further we get rho a rho cap is equal to rho a rho cap this is equal to minus 3 a y cap plus 6 a z cap this we have done by the locations of point p and the line charge hence rho will be equal to under root Three square will be nine minus three square plus six square. This will be under root forty five. Hence, a rho cap will be equal to minus three a y cap plus six a z cap divided by under root forty five. Now, substituting into the formula for d bar, we get d bar is equal to so the electric flux density d bar is given by 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon 2 pi into 40 pi u along with minus 3 a y cap plus 6 a z cap. So finally, we get d bar is equal to minus 212.206 pi u a y cap. Plus four two four point four one three one a z cap micro coulomb per meter square. So this is the required answer for part B. That was the electric flux density produced at point P because of uniform line charge. So this portion is also covered. Now let us focus on to the part C. In part C, we are again asked to find out. d bar that is electric flux density produced because of uniform surface charge density having this much of magnitude of charge density on the plane z equal to minus 5 so z equal to minus 5 means it is a plane parallel to xy plane at minus 5 units on to the z axis so let us represent that one in the diagram so in the diagram we shall have it if this is origin so let us lower it down at minus 5 <coughs> there should be such a plane infinite on x dimension infinite on y dimension intersecting z at minus 5 so this is our new charge configuration because of this charge what is the electric flux density d bar at the same field point p in bracket 2 36 we are supposed to calculate so for that purpose we use the electric field intensity formula the electric field intensity formula we have e bar is equal to rho s upon twice epsilon 0 an cap okay whereas we are supposed to find out d bar hence epsilon 0 into e bar we get rho s upon 2 an cap Okay. Now, rho s value is already given to us. We substitute the rho s value, that is, one twenty into ten to the power minus six. In the denominator, it will be two. A n cap. A n cap generates the normal direction as the field point has z coordinate six. The charge, that is, <coughs> uniform surface charge, is at Z equal to minus five, so this is in the upward direction. So the unit vector will be in the A Z cap direction. So in place of A N cap, I substitute A Z cap. So simplifying, thus we obtain D bar is equal to sixty A Z cap. Unit will be micro coulomb per meter square. So this way. we have obtained the answers for electric flux density produced at the field point p because of three types of configurations 
the point charge configuration, the line charge configuration and the surface charge configuration. The summary can be made here that as in the last chapter we have derived the formula for electric field intensity for point charge, line charge and surface charge configuration. The electric flux density can be given epsilon 0 times E bar. So for point charge it will be Q upon 4 pi R square AR cap unit will be column per meter square for the uniform infinite line charge it will be again epsilon 0 into E bar that is given by rho L upon 2 pi rho A rho cap column per meter square similarly for uniform infinite surface charge we have the formula rho s upon 2 a n cap in coulomb per meter square. So this way we are supposed to calculate electric flux density because of different charge configuration. Thank you.